fellow saints of God, this is Brandy and I am back uh, to give another word from the Lord. I pray all is doing well. God bless every single last one of you. Guys, this word is tough for me. This is a tough word for me because I've been given this word to say by the living God. Um to uh, bring some clarification to something that was said uh, a few weeks ago. I've been trying to avoid it. I've been trying to not have to say it, but God won't let me, won't let me put it down. You guys, I was, I tried to forget it. He won't, he won't let me forget it. So, um, about a few weeks ago, I heard a, a word. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't finish hearing the word. I, I. I couldn't. I couldn't listen to it in its totality because of the 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 phrase and phrase and the statement that was said. It was just too. It was. I couldn't. It didn't sit with my spirit. You know, uh, it didn't sit well with Holy Spirit in, in inside of me. And it, it was a word that said that. And I say this in all of love. I, I've, been, I've been trying to ask, I ask the Lord, please, God, because because when you say something and in, 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 to ref, refute a, 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 a something that is error, error, some people think you may be trying to come at them or come down on them and come, you know, try to make them look bad. And that's not even the case in my life. I pray all is doing well again. And so. I want to. I asked the Lord. I said, Lord, let me give me this word in love. I want. I want people to know I'm in. I'm, I love them, and I don't want them to think, glory to God, that it's something that I'm trying to make them feel bad or make them feel, you know, off. Um, because the individual, you know, I, I do respect and do love uh, the work they've done for the kingdom of God. I think it's phenomenal, and it, it, it is to be admired, and it's great. A great legacy to the body of Christ. Um, but I heard this, this, the, the title and the, the beginning that, uh, of the, of the sermon or, or series or whatever it was that Eve, Oh God, please God. Eve was, uh, Satan's first witch. And like I said, I, I heard it. I wanted to immediately forget it. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't. I knew it was something. When I heard it, I felt a little jolt here. But I didn't let it, you know, I didn't stay stay on it. You know, I tried to forget it, like, like I said. And so it, the Lord brought it to my attention. He said, you're going to have to speak. And so he said, Eve was not Satan's first witch. And I said, well, Lord, I... I mean, I understand that. I know that. He said, Eve was beguiled. So here we go. He wanted me, Jesus Christ wanted me, through his Holy Spirit, to look up the word beguiled. The definition of the word beguiled in the Hebrew, the Greek, and just basic, you know, how we always do the basic definitions of it. And so to beguile a person, Eve said, he beguiled me. And Eve is not the first person or first being to be got, be beguiled by Satan. And so, and so, one of the questions that arose in my spirit by Holy Spirit once, once he told me that I must speak about this, he said, if Eve was Satan's first witch, that makes Satan, or no, that makes uh, 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 Adam, Satan's first warlock, right? Because Eve came out of Adam. Eve was pulled out of Adam, so that automatically makes a uh, 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 Adam a warlock because he ate as well. He he partaked in partaked in that particular sin that they did as well, uh, performed today to, uh, too. And so I said, "Well, God." And then God said, "If if if Eve is a witch, and and Adam is a warlock." Then that makes Satan God. But let me go back to Eve not being the only only being beguiled. Right? 
before all of this, before even the cre uh, before the 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 the, the, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit hovering over the face of the deep. Hallelujah! Before Jesus said, God said, "Let there be light," and there was light. Satan beguiled the angels of heaven. He beguiled a third of the angels of heaven. So now we're saying. Mm. Oh God, let me look up beguiled, you guys. To beguile is is to have a charm, to enchant something in a deceptive way. To deceive, be cunning, lead by deception. Oh God. Wiles. It says deceived de to deceive by wiles. What's a wile? Hallelujah. A trick or strategy intended to ensnare or deceive. So guess what? I don't know any witches that are, are tricked into being witches. I I I mean I don't know I don't know any witches, but I'm just saying I I I think that's something that they they practice free freely. I, I've never seen or heard somebody say, you know what? They tricked me into being a witch. You know they tricked me, and now here I am a witch. Mm -mm. Skill. This is a while. This is W I L E. Skill in outwitting, outwitting, trickery, trickery, guile. To lure by or as if by a magic spell. Satan beguiled me, she said. She told the father. So how do you get, how do you get, because we say, the Bible says rebellion is, is of witchcraft. So me being tricked, being duped, because that's another, I think that's another one. I, that's a, a bamboozled is, is, a, is another definition, right? So me being bamboozled makes me rebellious. Eve being bamboozled by Satan or lied to by Satan makes her a rebellious witch? Here's the Hebrew de definition of it. To be led astray, to lead astray. Oh God. Mentally, for example, mentally it says to be, to lead astray, for example, mentally to delude are morally to seduce, beguile, deceive greatly, utterly, to entice, catch by bait, y'all. That's not rebellion. That's not an act against God's will. That's not contrary. That's not a contrary spirit against God. God's will. Yes, Eve did question. He he tricked her mind. So well, like he tricked those a third of heaven's angels so well to that she he made her through manipulation. Question, did God really did he really say that? Because he that's the first thing he asked her. Did God really say? <sighs> My spirit is hurt, you guys. I, I'm just I'm really hurt. So I want I want to let me see what the let me see what she said. And the Lord said uh, the Lord God said unto the woman, "What is this that thou hast done?" Genesis 3:13. And the woman said, "The serpent beguiled me and I did eat." First of all, when you're rebellious, you can you can you you, you tend to lie. 
When you're a rebellious soul, when you're witches lie. She stood before her holy God and told the truth. So if she was contrary to God's will, in the sense of being a witch, contrary, opposition, uh, uh, rebellious to God, she wouldn't have told him the truth. She wouldn't have said, well, you know what, Lord, the, 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 this serpent beguiled me and I did eat it. Yes, I, 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 was, I was tricked. I was bamboozled. Another word for from bamboo uh, beguiled is to charm someone, perhaps deceptively. The Hebrew word here is nasha, nasha meaning led astray. I don't have to say that too many times for you to understand that Eve was not Satan's first witch. Now he may have been after a third of heaven. He may have been number one on the uh, first in line for deception on a human sense but she was not his first witch she was the first woman to be deceived she was the first woman to, to fall under hallelujah uh, uh, dis what is it disillusion What's the word? Where is it? I'm looking for the uh, the uh, delusion. Delusion, that's the word. I'm looking for the uh, Hebrew because it, all, it, all the Hebrew says is led astray as well. I mean, the uh, 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 Greek led astray, deceived. So now that we know that the deception is on the rise in this wild of Satan, can we be also, being in this hour, this very hour, with all the Holy Ghost we got, and the ages of, of walking this thing out, the, 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 the years of walking this thing out with Christ, can the enemy still get in and cause us to stumble and say, Eve was Satan's first witch? Guys, I... I and Lord, please let me let this be in love because I love this these particular people. I love them. I think they're great. I think they're in, in intellectually sound. I, I, I believe that God has is, is really put his intellect and, and spirit of excellence in this particular place. But God. So now when we if, if we look at the books of the, the Apocrypha and the the lost books or the lost scrolls that were are the, the the books that were not canonized. We look at uh, books like Adam and uh, uh, the the book of Adam and Eve. We see that they were continuously seeking to get back in good graces with God, and Satan was continuously tormenting them daily. He tried to take them out daily. So a uh, so if Eve was Satan's first witch, wouldn't she league up with him and say, you know what, let me just hang out on this side and let me just go after, or if, if even if Adam was uh, uh, Satan's first warlock because now they're married and Eve came out of Adam. So let us league up with, 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 with uh, Satan and come after God. The Apocrypha lets us know, the book of Adam and, book of Adam and Eve lets us know that they were sorrowful for what they had done in the garden. They were sorrowful that they allowed the that allowed the serpent to beguile them, to wow them, to get them out of the presence of the Lord. They fought for, they asked God daily, they asked God, can we please come back? Can we please, what can we do to get back to you? I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like crying, guys, because this, this is serious. You, 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 you honor God through His Word. His Word is alive. His Word is operative. It's active. It's sharper than a two, any two-edged sword. 
and for it to be just devalued and just thrown, tossed to and fro, it's just like it's just nothing. What about the children that they had after Cain? What about the children that, what, Seth? What do they call him, Seth? What did he say his name? Now he serves God or now we praise God? What about him? What about the children that they had that served God, that honored God after, after, after the fall? They didn't stop seeking God. And God did, okay, so, so now we got Noah. What's the use of having Noah, Enoch, Methuselah? What's the use? Why are we, what, what's, what, where'd they come from? Where'd Elijah come from? Where'd Eli Elisha come from? Where did they, why, did, why did Father God put Abraham on the scene? To birth out a, a holy nation, a, a people, of, of, a nation of people. And where did Abraham come from? Did he come from the lineage of, of Adam and Eve? Did he not come from the lineage of Adam and Eve? Did uh, Noah come from the lineage of Adam and Eve? The genealogy of these of, of Adam and Eve? Did these people come from there? So now we have a first Adam and a last Adam. Eve being the first witch of Satan, right? So now we can assume that unless two 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 will walk together, they agree. So now we agree, we we must say that Adam, the first Adam, is is a warlock. So what's the use of having a second Adam if the first one is is is? Of course, he fell because of sin. So who is the first, the second Adam? Who's the last Adam? Who who is he? Guys, I don't know why God, I don't know why he would not let me. Because I, listen, I, I, I try to stay out of people's way. And let them listen. Because I done had enough of this, uh, uh, you know, trying to, you know, speak, speak up. For, I guess, I don't know, I don't know if I said, I should say had enough. But, you know, speaking the truth of God and speaking it, you know, to those that will listen and, and 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 be you know steady and sober with the word of God, you know, it's not it's not always easy because people don't want to receive it in a, in a holy sense in a whole matter. W H O L E. They don't want to receive it holy. H O L Y, or whole, and a whole matter, and it's like it could be exhausting because you know God is so much more. This hurts, man. This this hurts. This hurts. It hurts that I have to, <laughs> first of all, that I had to say it because I was definitely trying to let it go. And and secondly, because of the the, the 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 source. You know, you love them. You want them. You know, you want people to to can continue in the way of the Lord and just do it. You know, do it the way God wants it and and honorable, honorable and glorious to glorify him and, and give him the glory and man, you know, I'm asking God to keep us you know, cause it's easy, it's easy Jesus to, you know, kind of get off track a bit I'm asking God to keep us in his word, keep us grounded and anchored in his word it's so imperative in this hour. We're in an hour right now where rebellion is running rapid, y'all. We're in an hour where 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 people are not seeking God like they said it, like like for real, for real. People are rather they have all other kind of stuff going on, and and a lot of people are not making time for God. So we gotta we gotta recognize when we when we're and and, and, and another thing I just heard God say. And if a person is in error, don't be so shy or so uh, scared to speak up about it. If you know good and well, Eve is not a witch, Satan's first witch. 
and you sitting there looking at the person said, uh, God still, whoa, there about Shakavaya. What's a sentinel? I can't hear you. What's a sentinel? Because we covered this the other day, didn't we? Yes. What is a sentinel? Do, do you remember? Isn't it uh, like a guard or something? I believe so, yes. This is what God told me the other day. A soldier or guard. A soldier. Stand and keep watch. God told me that we need to start guarding his glory. God, if God has placed, is getting ready to place sentinels, holy sentinels back at his altars. We have to start guarding his glory. Hallelujah. Those that are in the four walls, you guys got to stand up and guard the glory of God. If you see somebody speaking this thing in error, don't be, don't be afraid of them. First of, first of all, God has placed you in a place to be, to first of all, to be holy, to be respectful of God's order, first of all of God's order, secondly, the house's order. But if there's an error, you got to bring it, you got to speak up because now we're going to, we're going to keep, we're going to keep missing this mark. We have got to stop missing the mark as the body of Christ. We press towards the mark of the high, high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. And if we keep blasting off these errors, nobody's going to make the mark and we got to make this mark. I'm guaranteed to make the mark. Hallelujah. I'm going to make the mark. And those that follow me and come with me, whatever, we're making this mark. We're going to make the mark of the high calling. We're going to reach that high calling. And if I'm jacking up, let me know. Don't don't sit up there and know I'm saying something off and then, and then, and then just sweep it under the rug. And now you got a generation of people coming up. Oh, yeah, I can be a witch because Eve, the mother, what is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh, she, woman, is 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 a witch. I could be a witch too. The mother of all creation. God help me. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm sorry. I don't mean. I'm not trying to be. I just love God's word because it's a person. When the Holy Ghost was going over the face of the earth. Jesus was right there when Jesus was, when God was saying, let there be like Jesus was right there. He's the word in the beginning there, the word was there and the word was with God and the word is God. So I treasure his word. I believe his word. I trust his word because he's a person and he's a savior and Satan beguiled Eve. He didn't witch Eve because if that's the case, then well, we already know the, the fallen angels. We already know what they do. So how did he how did he witch them? So now they they oh God. Y'all be blessed. I'm sorry. I I, I just I I just I can't, I don't know what else to say. Is there something else? I, I just don't know what else to say. I'm hurt. My spirit is hurting. I love Jesus too much to to just sit on this. You know that, but what, what, what Jeremiah, Jeremiah says, so like a fire just shoots up in your bones. And I was just chilling. When I say I was chilling, I was chilling. And God made me come and say, maybe to, because a lot of people are going to watch it incognito, but to say this, maybe to, to somebody. No, no. Because now you're messing with the history, the history of the Word of God. This is not. That's nothing to, to play with. The history, the genealogy. I do have something to say. What you got? If, what you have? If what God created, if he said that it was good, uh -huh. uh, then it's good. My Minecraft is not good. My sister if said, if God created, if God what? If what God if created. If what God created. And he said it was good, then it's good. Even after she was beguiled. 
that it was consequences of, of that begow, being begow, the beguilement. There was consequences from being wild away from the will of God. Of course, because God is sovereign. He's a lawyer. He's a, he's a judge. So he's going to, you break his law. He's got to, he's got to, what is it? What, if you break a law, what you got to do? Render, render a verdict. Yeah. Render a verdict on laws that are broken. When, when God saw man, he said it was good. And also, one and, more thing. And also, one more thing. If he created it. If he created it. And it was good. It was good or if he was, if he was desiring to create, he created a witch initially, he would have said it initially. He would have said it in that's, the beginning. That's the part I, that's the part I did, I, 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 I thought of and didn't say. Yes. And, 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 and when he, and all this, what he said was good was in the beginning. In, the, in beginning. the beginning, he would have spoken in the beginning. So, so say that again, so I can repeat it, because I know that they, they know they can't hear it, because you're on a different phone. What did you say? So, in the beginning, in the beginning, all of what God made was all, good. All of what God made was good. And he spoke it in the beginning. And he spoke that in the very beginning. If he desired to make evil witch, which he would never do because it's evil. If he desired to make evil witch, what? Uh, which he would never do because it's a, because that is evil. Uh huh. Yes, he would have done it in the beginning. He would have done that in the beginning. So now, come on, because see now, now who is God? So if he's walking around creating witches and, and devils, who what are we saying about him? Exactly. From the very beginning, there's something missing. It's the beguilement of Satan. He's tainted. His Satan is evil. He's wrong. It's nothing about Satan that's right. But God said he what he created was good. And if he was, oh my God, he would have told us from the very beginning what Eve was. He wouldn't. He wouldn't have beguiled it us. Written. It would have been written, and if we we wouldn't be walking around beguiled by God. No. Come on. Oh, my heart hurts. My heart hurts. I just want us to, I just want us to walk right. I want us to walk in love. I want us to seek the word and truth. I'm gone, y'all. You got something else? I got one more thing. She said she got one more thing. Let me see what she got. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Also. Also. Because uh, God told Adam. Because God told Adam. And not Eve. And not Eve. Adam. He first told Adam. Yes. But what did he tell Adam? Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Not to, not to eat he, of the tree. God told uh, Adam not to eat of the tree. Yes. Yes. Of good, of good, and of evil. good and evil. Of yes. Knowledge of the knowledge of good and evil. Okay. Eve was had not been pulled. Eve had not been pulled from Adam at that moment. Yes. And because Eve, and because was Eve a part of Adam, is a part of Adam, was a part of Adam. She received that information spiritually. She received that information, that download from God spiritually. She hadn't been pulled from Adam yet. God did not tell Eve directly not to eat of the what? Of the tree. Of the tree. Of good and evil. So, so what I'm saying is that it may have been easier for Eve to be beguiled because that information was a download. She wasn't she wasn't told by God, but it was downloaded into her which from coming from Adam. Right. Okay, so now I gotta say it. I gotta say it so they can re receive it. Okay. So, so God did not tell Eve directly. God did not tell Eve directly. To not eat from the tree to, of, of good and evil. To not eat from the tree of good and evil. She received that. She download received that download spiritually. Spiritually. When she was in Adam. 
there. When she was in Adam, I got we got that part. Now what, what was before that? She was pulled out. Before she was pulled out. So, so when, they, when when Satan came to when her, Satan came to her, it may have been easy for him to beguile her. It may have been easy for Satan to beguile Eve, uh huh. Because she was not told directly. Because she was not told by directly by the Father. Not to eat of the tree. Not to eat of the of the tree. But she knew it. She knew it spiritually. Not to it eat of the tree of good and evil. But she knew it. What? Spiritually. She knew she it knew spiritually. Hmm. And was able to. She was able to repeat it because she repeated back to. She repeated Satan. back to Satan. Yeah, she was able to repeat it. She was able to repeat it back to Satan what God had said, but God never told her. He told Adam. Yep. Girl, this is deep. Satan knew that too. And Satan knew it. This is deep. Because now we're, 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 we're starting something totally different. Yep. So now we're talking about natural and spiritual matters here. Uh -huh. So now Satan came to her in the natural. Trying to pull her, oh my God, her out of her spiritual alignment with God. Mm -hmm. And, and so, he to up her uh huh. Because she was directly. She was what? Well, she was not told directly. Exactly. And he was able to twist it and make it seem like, well, maybe I didn't hear it. She didn't. That's how she wasn't able to hear. That's why she was able to be uh, beguiled. Because it was not directly told to her. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and so he twisted that spiritual. Guys. Yeah. And he does it to, he does it he to does us. He does it to us all the time. <laughs> yep. Switch, twist, twisting that uh, sp our spiritual, uh, m m uh, m uh, spiritual spirit of our mind, huh? The spirit of our mind and our discernment. And our discernment. Cause she did say, well, maybe, maybe did I hear? Cause didn't she ask, did I hear it? Guess yeah, well, did I hear that? Did, maybe I didn't hear. Second guessing, doubting. Yep. That's not. That's, that's not a that's witch. A, no. That's a person that's that's a, a woman that's being uh, uh, tricked, because oh my god, she didn't get the 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 uh, the download. Uh, god, she wasn't, she, huh? She should have hear from God directly. But, but, this is where, this is where Adam messed up. But check it out. This is where Adam makes, me, messed up because he missed his, uh, his God ability in her. Because he was supposed to be the, the, the leader of that, of that, of Eden. He was supposed to be the leader. He was supposed to be the representative of God over her life. And in the apocryphal text, the apocryphal he apologized text. to God. He apologized to God because he did not verbalize to Eve what God initially said. So now she's, oh, so now, okay, okay, so now we, we talk about spiritual matters. So if now you don't have a spiritual teacher, how is she supposed to know this? Adam missed his mark because he was supposed to be spiritually teaching her. Oh Lord, let me come off this thing because now I'm on here because we done because it's a whole different thing now. Yeah, that's a whole other subject. But I got that download as she was speaking. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So I yeah, yeah. So so. Wow, that's deep right there. That's deeper than I'm gonna go today. Yeah, that's a whole. Other that's a whole message. different teaching. Because now, how do you? How do you? Why you didn't teach her? But you standing there with it. He was he was right there with him, wasn't he? Yes, and he ate it. Okay, okay. So so we gotta go, we gotta get off of that. So now we so so now he watching he 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 watching his wife the witch become a witch. Nah, that don't make no sense. They and then all, and then he all. gonna eat it. He gonna eat the the witch food and become a warlock. He wasn't the same. No. No, he wasn't. He was. Oh, but you know why he wasn't the same? Because he wasn't in the spirit anymore. Exactly. He was natural. He was. He was now fleshy. Mm -hmm. Sin causes you to be fleshy, and 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 so Satan talked to her her uh, fleshy side because she don't she don't know. She, oh my god. So now who told you you were naked? Exactly. 
Exactly. Who told you you were naked? And that 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 lets you know she was beguiled. She was beguiled. Yep. Not a witch. Not a witch. But beguiled. Yep. Yep. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Wow. Father God, we give you glory today. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your word is true before our lives today, Father God. We just honor you. We honor you in the goodness of who you are. We honor you because your word is true in our lives today. Your word is alive in us today. And we say thank you. We thank you for your love. Hallelujah. Even when we mess up, God, you still have the grace to, 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 to love us even the more. And so we thank you for the love that's on this broadcast we thank you that you love us, God. We thank you that you, you're still calling us. You're still reaching out for us, even if we're in error. Yeah. He still loves us, and he still wants us as his children. Glory to God. It don't matter what age we are. We can be 125. We can be one years old. He still wants us, even if we're in error. Glory to God. And so I thank God. I thank him for this word today. In Jesus' name. You, you got one? anything else to say? My sister on another on another phone, y'all. She don't want to do the. Uh... We do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, she don't want to do it. But God gonna make her do it. Mm -hmm. One of these days, he gonna make her get on here, and she gonna uh, she gonna blow she gonna blow it out the water, y'all. Why you trying to sound like Betty Boss Clark on uh? <laughs> what she say? What she say? The Clark sisters. The Clark sisters. Uh, blow it out. Blow it out the water. Out the water, y'all. <laughs> I don't even remember her saying that. No, you don't say but I, I heard her say, were you singing the cats, though? What'd she say? You, you were singing the cats? Who was you singing to? Cats? <laughs> I remember that one. Yeah, that was uh, That was good. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all be good. Be safe. Be blessed on this, uh, what is this, Sunday afternoon? beautiful first of all beautiful sunday afternoon it is it, it's gorgeous out here oh it's gorgeous y'all god bless you be safe bye-bye